Today I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to sow in January for my balcony garden. I've already got a video on my channel all about what to sow in January. I'll leave a link to that in the description box and in the comments below. I'm going to be giving you an update on the balcony garden and also I'm going to show you some additional things I am going to be growing right now in January. So let's get into it. This is very much of part two of my what to sow in January video. This is what I'm growing in addition to that first video. One of the things I'm going to be starting in January are strawberries. I've got a whole playlist on strawberries so once again I'll leave a link to that down below but I also have some strawberries going on the cloud garden at the moment so let me show you those. These are long overdue a pruning but she's also sent out some runners. One of the first things I'm going to do is plant these runners here. Wow, in fact she sent out a second set of runners as well. This doesn't have an established root system at all but she's still connected to the mother plant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this in this container. It can grow along with the mother plant. What we need to do is get this root section at the bottom here into contact with some soil. And then eventually it will root itself in. So we're going to do that now. There you go. So it's in there now. Once I know that this plant is, is rooted, I will then cut off the stem to the mother plant so that she doesn't keep diverting all of her nutrients to her. And I'm going to do the same thing again with these. It's quite easy to dismiss strawberry sometimes because this looks pretty dead. But if we zoom in, it's actually pushing out new leaf growth here. And it's the same with this tired looking strawberry. It looks awful, but right there, it's brand new leaves. There we go, I've chopped off all of that old growth. And we've got one, two, three new plants. There's a new growth from that old one. And even on this one, once we chop back those old leaves, there's some more new shoots coming up as well. I'm pretty sure that these are snakehead fritillaries. Not touched this container since last year, so what I could do is separate them out. I think I'm gonna get let them get a little bit bigger first. Speaking of spring bulbs, you have a short window just to get your last few spring bulbs in. One of the things I've got to be really conscious of on this garden is spring for me is a really, really short season because of the glass railings my garden gets a little bit warmer than most on the ground level so it could be up to 10 to 15 degrees in temperature difference so if for example in february march the temperatures go up to 10 degrees on a sunny day on my garden it's 20 degrees which can have a real impact to some of the plants that i have nine times out of ten i miss spring <laughs> essentially so that's why you won't see me doing a whole load of spring bowl planting on this channel because for me in this current space it just doesn't work I think we came to the consensus that the new shoots popping up from this here are daffodils and I'm pretty sure they are as well and over here I've got some alliums that are just starting to come up now as well I've also got some more daffodils here, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to pick some spots uh, that these daffodils are going to go in and then I'm going to plant some of these as well. One thing about the spring bulbs is normally the flowers are quite delicate, so tulips and daffodils. If I have them on this garden and we go through a storm during spring, nine times out of ten, those flowers are lost to me. So I tend to not plant too many spring bulbs and choose to focus on other flowers. Let me show you some of the flowers that I will be growing this year. In addition to my previous video on what to sow in January, I'm going to start some snapdragons this year. 
Now, guys, you know me, I like to repurpose what I can. So I'm gonna be sewing some of these in one of my ratchet containers, and then I'm keeping these indoors and letting them get a little bit bigger before putting them outside into my garden. Here, I've got two packs of Aquilegia. Now, they are bare roots, and I've never done them before. In fact, these two actually came from last year but I never got around to planting them so I've got no idea whether I'm going to have any success with these but what I will be doing is I'm going to be starting some from seed so hopefully fingers crossed we're going to get some beautiful flowers by round about April May Another flower that you can start to sow in January are carnations. However, somehow, somehow, mine have managed to go throughout winter. In this container, it's pretty awful, but that will need some chopping back. And then a little to my surprise, I'm sowing some carnation seeds at the end of the month. But what I will do is I'll show you how to propagate these plants as well to really maximize on the number of plants that you have. Along with the carnations, another flower that I'm going to be sowing in January are salvia. Now I'm going to use both the dianthus and the salvia as kind of container fillers. Anywhere where I see a little bit of space I'm going to add in a couple of those to kind of bulk up my containers. I've already got some on the garden so let me show you some of those now. This salvia is a giant, but as you can see, it got hit by the frost. So it's not looking too good at the top, but we still have some decent green leaves at the bottom. So throughout the next month, I'll show you my care tips for this. And as for this one, you can see the flowers are already spent, but there's plenty of new growth at the bottom. Down here I've got some peas. These are just normal peas, but what I am going to start sowing this January are some sweet peas. This variety is called Early Grey Blend, and I'm gonna get some of these started indoors, and then I'm gonna select some locations to bring them out. Now, I want them to grow up the arches, and hopefully I will be able to get some blooms from the sweet peas at the same time as these roses. One of the things that I'm going to be doing each month is going out to a nursery and showing you what you can get in a nursery each month for your container garden. Nine times out of 10, most of us don't actually have the space to grow from seed and that is okay. It doesn't make you any less of a gardener if you need to go out to a nursery and pick up some plug plants. So I'm gonna take you to a couple of nurseries, show you what I would pick, my top tips, and which plants to get for your small spaces. If you've got any recommendations, put them in the comments below, let me know and I will make sure to go out and visit. Yeah, my herb tower is looking dreadful. But a word of warning, a lot of these herbs are perennials. The vast majority are not hardy. However, on my garden, because it's slightly protected, things are starting to come back to life. But on my indoor herb garden, things are looking pretty decent. So much so that I've been able to propagate some of my herbs. Now these first batches I'm going to root and then plant up and then I'm going to place some of these out into the garden in the late spring. In this ratchet container, I've got something a little bit controversial for January. These are actually nasturtiums. I'm growing these indoors for all of spring. I'm growing these solely for the purpose of harvesting and eating the leaves and the flowers. As people with no outside space, I want to see whether or not nasturtiums can do well on an indoor environment. In addition to the nasturtiums, 
for my indoor kitchen garden. I'm going to start some tumbling toms. Now, these little tiny cherry tomatoes are a trailing type of tomato, which I'm going to be growing on top of my kitchen garden shelf, hoping that they cascade down so that I'm always gonna have a fresh supply of tomatoes before summer has even started. Tumbling toms are a determinate variety of tomatoes. That means, essentially, they have a defining point and they will stop growing. I've got a whole playlist on tomatoes where I explain everything in more detail, so I'll make sure to leave that in the description box below. Now, I'm aiming to have some fruit by the end of April, May. It could be a complete and utter fail. Who knows, but it's worth a shot just to show those of you who are watching who don't have any form of outside space that you can actually grow indoors. Speaking of, let me show you a couple of other things I'm growing on my kitchen garden shelf. This is going to be in an upcoming video, but over here I've got some watercress. I bring these from seed and the cool thing about this is that you can add watercress to your salads, to sandwiches, it's super super easy to grow and you can either grow it indoors or you can even grow it in a pond. So one of these is gonna stay indoors and the other is gonna go out into the pond. You guys know what I'm like with my ratchet containers. Down in here, growing just next to the watercress in the container, I've got this little clove of garlic. As you can see, it's begun to create roots and within a few days, it's sent up a shoot. Now I'm going to do this with a few more cloves of garlic. Some of these are going to be kept inside on in the kitchen garden and all I'm going to do is harvest the leaves and then the others I'm going to find spots outside on the cloud garden and plant them into containers. In the description box below I'm going to leave you a link to my Substack. That's my weekly newsletter and in there I've got a full list of everything to grow from seed in January. I've even got some links to some seeds to get you started. I've also got links to videos that I think will be super helpful to help you get started growing this year. Anyway, I hope that this video was useful to you. Don't forget to watch the very first video I've made on what to sow in January. I'll make sure to leave that in the description box below as well. Thanks once again for joining me and hopefully I'll see you all again very soon. Bye. <laughs>